Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damria and welcome to Fallout New Vegas with mods. I'm gonna make the intro for this series. Uh, hopefully I can make it pretty good. <laughs> Who knows? Let's go ahead and begin with... Uh, we're not gonna continue, we're gonna start a new game. Start a new game, this will write your auto save a present. Yeah, let's do it. And we're gonna skip the intro for now. Because I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the intro before. Uh, you start as a guy, you get shot. Can I... There we go. <laughs> Trying to figure out which button actually skips the intro. Oh well. Whatever, let's go ahead and get into this. So, uh, with Fallout New Vegas, I went ahead and installed some, like a new start mod, uh, slight, like weapon adjustment mod, weapon uh, additional mod to give us more weapons. Uh, I'm still going to be adding more mods as I go on, and if you would like to recommend me any mods that actually work with Fallout New Vegas, go ahead and do so. I have the full mod loader, so I should have no problem loading the mods and reverting back in case something happens. And this game should be a lot stable now that I got some things going. A quest completed, ain't that a kick in the head. So, as you can see over here, it starts kind of dark and dull. We're starting off in a place that we, I don't really know what's going to be happening here. We start off a dark room, and uh, here we get to choose what kind of character we make. Since we're starting off a different story, we do not know what character we are right now. We're just uh, running around, just looking around stuff for now. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with activating the Vitomatic Vigor Tester. And probably for this episode, we're mostly going to be setting up a kind of character we want to make. And out of the stats that we have, I should probably use the arrow keys. We can do strength, perception. Strength uh, works on melee, unarmed uh, inventory weapons, damage weapons, uh, or weight damage, weapon effectiveness. So probably we can do a little bit of strength. Why not? Uh, this will increase our uh, perception, will increase our explosives, lockpicking, energy weapons, accuracy, compass range. We we'll probably could use some accuracy. Why not? That would be pretty nice. Uh, endurance will make sure that we can fight unarmed, that we have more health, and we got more survival. You know what? I want to do tough as nails, like 7 for endurance, because I don't even know what we're going to be experiencing out there in the wilderness. So, <laughs> I mean, we can get shot at any moment, and it could be some high-level person just shooting us with a sniper off in the head. So, if we can survive at least a couple of shots and run away, then I would not have any problem with it. Uh, in my opinion, I feel like it's a little, it's a little easy to play. Well, mm, I feel like it's there's a different kind of danger levels when it comes to playing Fallout, uh, any Fallout games like Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, because everybody can shoot you from far away, and if they're a really good shot, they can probably get you. And if there are a lot of people shooting at you, and you can't really take cover, then you're probably screwed. So there's a different danger level compared to like Skyrim and Oblivion. Uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, Charisma, Barter, Speech, Companion. Uh, on nerve. I'm not really sure what's gonna do it for us. Uh, intelligent. Actually, you know what? Charisma would be pretty good. We could probably add some charisma. And I feel like that's really all we would need. Agility is pretty good. When a fella is in a gunfight and shoots the other guy six times before they can get off a shot, it's because a fella is agile. Oh, so we should probably take away the strength one and add it to the, uh, to the gun. Or to the agility so that we can actually do some kind of damage. Let's see, strength, ah, let's just go with lightweight, not, let's not even do average Joe. Uh, let's see, endurance, charisma, intelligence, we could probably go ahead and take away some intelligence, we're not gonna need that. We can bump up some agility, let's see, luck, and eh, we can give ourselves a lucky 7, because why not. So we got a 4, 6, 7, 6, 2, 8, 7, I guess that's a pretty good stats, I'm just gonna go with that. The computer over there looks mighty interesting, it looks mighty interesting over there. And this is where we get to create our character. Welcome to the Sunset Sarah Pilla Personality Test. First, the name. Obviously, we're gonna go with, um... You know what, we're gonna give him just an average name. Uh, Nick. We're gonna give him Nick. My name is Nikolai, but he's, we're gonna make him just Nick. Just average Nick. And then, well, we'll probably change his name. Oh, did not mean to do that. Can, we, can I go back? No, apparently I gotta choose my skills. Uh, first we're gonna do... It was gonna do guns. And I would like to do, let's see, should probably do survival, and then let's do speech. I like to do all those three. Uh, for the name, we could probably even change the name to just like, not like Nick. And you know what, let's give him a fancy, well not really, I don't really want to give him a fancy name, I just want to keep like a, like a cool sounding name. I don't want to go with just like Tham or Thamriel or any other variation of Tham. Um, jeez. Coming up with names is actually kind of difficult. Uh, you know, we're going to go with James. James. 
James McGee. James McGee. There we go. We're going to go with James McGee. We're going to make James McGee the survivor of the Vegas free world. It's going to be, I guess it can be a male. I already have a lot of female characters I already have. Uh, Caucasian, African, American, student, Asian. You know, we're going to make uh Yeah, we're going to make him Asian. Why not? Presets. Let's just cycle through some of the presets. Let's go with some, uh, like a chill one. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I kind of like this. The face seems to already, like, make sense. I don't want to do too much editing with, like, the face. I'd rather have just, like, a preset face already in here so that I don't have to do too much editing. And uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with this face. Customize, uh, shape, tone, eye color. Uh, we could probably maybe do something with the eyes that seem a little slanted, so. Oh, up and down, together apart. Jesus. God, this looks so weird. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make it, give him normal eyes. How about that? There we go. Now we gotta give him, we gotta give him a survivor's beard. That's what we gotta do. James, James McGee has to have a survivor's beard. So let's see, age, we could probably make him pretty experienced individual. So we go, we'll just bump his age up. Let's see, next is the hairstyle. Hair, I don't, I don't mind the hair in the back. Just the facial hair gotta be more survival-like. Oh yeah. God, James McGee is gonna be survival. Well, See, let's give him a goatee. Let's do goatee. There we go. A goatee will be just fine. James McGee, the survivor. Now we got like a we got like a scruffy survivor character. That's actually kind of cool. I'm I'm fine with that. I sure you want to this to be your character. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna eventually add a mod that adds more face and all that. I just have to make sure I get all the, the with Fallout. It's it's so difficult to mod because one mod, especially like appearance mod, will require you to download several other mods as well and several plugins and. I'm afraid that I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna mess something up. I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna mess something up. And I kind of try to avoid that. So disposition. What is your attitude towards the world? Give a little, take a little. That's a pretty good one. I like that. Uh, star preference. You are a decent citizen. 250 karma. Thank you. Uh, proficiencies. Oh wait, I already did proficiencies. Let's see, let's continue. I gained some karma, which is very nice. Weapon preference. We can do pistols and SMGs, rifles, shotguns, or anything. Currently we got anything which is just uh, dead is dead. If it's got if it got a trigger, it will provide adequate. Uh, what does it say? Exsanguination. I'm not sure what the hell that means. I'm guessing killing or the art of killing. Uh, let's go with pistols and SMGs. One hand on my gun, one ready to throw open a door. Yeah, not bad. You know, I'll, I'll go with that. Could go with rifles, but you know, we're just gonna start off with pistols and SMGs. Be pretty good. Traits. Now, trades can only be selected one time. Ensure that you're ready to select your trade before proceeding. Sounds good. The first one we're gonna do is Wild Wasteland, because this is gonna be pretty fun. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post apocalyptic. La, 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 post apocalyptic America. America. Now for the fa now for the faint of heart or a series of temperament. We're gonna go with something silly, because why not? I'm not sure what we're gonna expect. I did it once, I never saw anything. But I guess maybe as we continue to go on, we'll maybe find something kind of weird. Uh, trigger discipline, small frame, loose cannon. Kind of want to see if we can do real fast shot. You know, we could probably do fast shot. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Nah, let's not do that. Hmm, what can we do? Kamikaze, you have 10% 10 10 more action points. Nah, let's not do that. Small frame. Due to a small size, you have one agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. Ooh. God, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, 20% more slowly, but a 20% more accurate. That's not bad. You know, let's do trigger discipline. Let's do that. Gonna make him a marksman. And somehow we lost karma from that. I don't even know what the hell we did. History. Now, this is something gonna be interesting. This is where we can make the character and figure out what he's gonna be. It can either be... What is your current occupation? Brotherhood of Steel, which I don't know. I don't know if we want to start a Brotherhood of Steel. That would be a cool intro to start with, for sure. Because we can actually like get the armor and everything for Brotherhood of Steel. It would be really badass to be like, yeah, I'm a man of Brotherhood of Steel and I'm like I'm like a soldier of Brotherhood of Steel and stuff. That'd be, that'd be really cool. That'd be really badass. And we could possibly even get the armor training faster for it. Uh, followers of the Apocalypse. We could get that. I'm not sure how successful that's going to be. New California Republic, Caesar's Legion, the Enclave. I could be a regular courtier like I am now, like you start in the game. The Great Khan. Let's continue. Snake Oil Salesman, uh, Caravaneer, Bounty Hunter, 
Immigrant, Barfly, Village Idiot. I'm glad they added the Village Idiot just for the just for the spice of it. We can be a sheriff, we can be a mechanic, gladiator from the thorn, thief, stranded settler, uh, town resident, and see his continue. Prospector, survivalist, politician, assassin, and a fiend. It's I wanna start off with the Brotherhood of Sea. I feel like that would be a really cool intro. I like how many varieties of intros it gives us. That's kind of cool. Start of Brotherhood Seal. I'll be a knight, page, recreant, or scribe. I feel like we should be a knight. Hmm. Let's be a page. We're starting off slowly. We're starting off humbly. We're going to be a page. Your parents were scribes in the order. The Osama took them far and wide and they dragged you along with them. As a bright youngster in a brotherhood, your, your schooling did not suffer. One intellect, five science. The your camerite camaraderie did oh, minus one charisma damn it because of the continuous traveling your instructions in self-defense was uh thorough five unarmed five energy weapons unfortunately on a trip out east your family was attacked and your parents uh killed with no way to contact the brotherhood you were left alone sounds pretty good i'll take it i'll take it start with either comprehension or retention perk i'll take it i'll take this i'll take the start yeah, I'm fine with that. It's cool. Uh, wealth. Ooh, granted we're gonna be stranded, we're probably gonna be flat broke. Just the clothes on my back. We could choose a million bucks, but I don't really care for it. Uh, and then start preference. We want to start, not a start in Goose Springs, alternative start, the way it's meant to be done. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Start preference. I believe we are done. We've made our character, and now we can go out and venture into the world. Let's go ahead and save first, quick saving. Let's head out and begin. Now I'm not sure where the hell is gonna start me. If we could start off, it could start us off somewhere in the middle of nowhere, just in the middle of bum, frick nowhere. Your weapon is in poor condition. I could do more damage if repaired. Radio New Vegas, Black Mountain Radio found. Um, you can repair items in your pit boy or visiting a vendor to repair it yourself. You need to use parts from a similar weapon. And everything is bright now. Uh, hardcore mode? No. I'm not gonna do hardcore mode. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. I'm not gonna do it. So what kind of character are we? Damn. We are not happy. <laughs> are we wearing boxing gloves? Hold on. <laughs> we are wearing boxing gloves, guys. Let's see, let's figure this out. Let's look at all weapons. E, don't care. Boxing gloves. Inflicts fatigue damage. Knockout. Wow. We actually have freaking boxing gloves. <laughs> Alright, cool. Our apparel. Well, what do we got here? Close this. We got leather armor. Storm chains our hat. I guess that's pretty good as a start. Got some medicine. That's not too bad. I'll run around with a revolver. Your pit boy 3000 has managed to filter out a radio station broadcast signal hidden within the static of the airwaves. Uh, we're not going to start with that just yet. It's kind of interesting how we just start out here in the middle of nowhere. What is this place actually? Hi, hello. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Um, who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Why'd you settle in this dump? Oh, wait, no, she already told us. She's she's glowing. This lady is glowing, actually. Why'd you settle in this dump? There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Um, What do you know about Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Mm-hmm. Uh, time for me to go, I guess. Later. Her voice just completely changed. Immediately when I changed, when immediately when I said, I am gonna go, she's like, later. Get out of here. Samuel, I'm guessing that's her dad. 